We now begin with the part one for the grade 10 elite. This is the MCQ part, multiple choice questions, where you just have to choose the correct answer. So I will be going with the shortcut and the easiest method possible. Now we begin with the first one. It is to solve logarithmic expressions. Here we have some problems. The easiest and the best way would be calculator method. All the scientific calculators can solve logarithm for any base. So let's just put this in the calculator, base 264. There you go, that's the answer. You can use any big number or any fractions as well. So just put it accordingly and you get the answers. So 1 by 32. Please do try the others by yourselves and you can check it out. The answers are over here. Now I will just convert one log function to exponential because it's mentioned in this over here. How do we do that is whatever log is given, make it equal to x. And then the procedure is like this. Whatever the base of the log, move it to the other side. And what happens here is this log dissolves and this goes to the other side and becomes the power. This x becomes the power, sorry. This will be the base. It was the base of log. Now it will be the base of the exponent. And here what is remaining? It's just 1. So when is 1 equal to when 9 to the power? How much power? So x is 0, right? 9 to the power 0 is 1. So x can be 0. But if we can directly solve it in the calculator as well. Here you can see the answer is 0. But in the calculator, we will straightly get it. But this is the actual way to do it. I did this method just to show you what is the exponential form. So from this log, this over here, the second step would be the exponential form. I'll just write the exponential form over here as well. It would be, this goes to the, you should make it equal to x. Take it to the other side. This dissolves. 4 is equal to 8 to the power x. This is the exponential form. And you can just put in the calculator and solve it up. This is a very easy topic, but if you have any doubts, please put them in the comments and I'll get back to you soon.